All right, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to film this part, <laughs> but we are finishing the last few enclosures in the zoo and moving the last snakes in today. All right, so I thought all the enclosures were done, but now Emily's sitting in this enclosure, and I'm not quite sure what she means when she says we have to finish the enclosures. Well, it's done, except there isn't enough room. It, oh, and there's no bulb in there, first oh, off. Yeah, I can go get that. Okay, well, there's also not enough room in this wire, or this light holder for this lamp. So I have to drill a hole up in the ceiling for this to kind of be recessed into the ceiling so this can all fit and close. Ah, yeah, that's so we I'm... just were lazy and didn't do this part. <laughs> we were like, this is future Ed and Emily's yeah, problem. Yeah, now it's present Ed and Emily's problem. Look, yeah. there's a fox snake hanging. Ooh, magic. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back when this hole is drilled. <laughs> okay, this is not fun. We should have done this before. Yeah, we probably should have. Looks really bright in there. It's also very bright, yeah, and this is the tiniest enclosure. Yeah. Where's Vicky when you need her? It's we should have had her do this. Should we do this one? Oh, yeah, there's a bright spot up there. Yeah, well, that one, the lights sit differently. They don't sit in this light holder. They just go in through Oh, that's above. true. Yeah, so that one was a lot easier, which is why we did that one. This one we decided not to finish, though, because it was too much work. I'm glad you're skinny. I don't think I'd fit in there. No, I don't think so either. Which might be why it wasn't fixed and it wasn't done in the first place. Yeah. Ah, there's a noise I haven't heard in a while. Oh. Uh-oh. She broke it. We can just leave it with the drill stuck in the seat. Yeah, right? that's fine. It'll reset. It worked! Oh, sweet. Oh, I hit a screw. Yeah, that'll do that. Yeah, that'll that'll do that. All right, I think it's still good enough, though. Oh, wait. The noise is back. I think it's Sharon. So Sharon at 9.30 at night tries to dig into a corner of her enclosure. Hmm. Let's see how long it takes before she makes it through that corner. All right, let's go see what Emily's doing again. You done yet? <laughs> Getting there. I'm putting it back together now. Ooh. Now it has a hole like it should. Yay. I did realize, though, that we didn't fill that hole with foam after the whole Priscilla incident, though. I mean, this is the hog nose, right? Yeah. They're not going to get up there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can go get foam and okay. we can plug it. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, no, I forgot to lock the cage and the wild Emily got out. I'm free. She's gonna bite me like Priscilla did. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Okay, so the last thing I want to do with this, oh, I have to put all this back, but I want to cover up the base of that plant so it doesn't look uh, like a potted plant. Yes, that is always nice to not have potted plants in your wild themed enclosures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna do that quick and then this will be done. By the way, okay, so there's paper on here, but weren't there those little styrofoam uh, cork things? There were cork squares all over the new glass huh. and they've mysteriously disappeared over the last couple of weeks. So. Thanks, kids, for ah. doing our job for us. I actually do appreciate it because it's one less thing we have to do. I just left them on because I figured they would disappear. And yeah. sure enough, they did. So, so there's some little kids, probably about 15 little kids who went home with souvenirs. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Kind of funny. All right, they were done. Right. Hooray. Finally, we had an observer the whole time. Aww. Oh, oh, there he goes. Our earth rustic was watching the whole time. He was watching and the fox snake was watching yeah, the entire time. Yeah, we had good supervision during yep. that. And now I think all the enclosures are officially done. In the zoo. Finally! Well, Anaconda's? There's still one that's not yeah, done. Yeah, Anaconda done. still needs a little work. Anyway, we're not worrying about Anaconda enclosure today. Uh, we are going to be moving in the last three snakes. In, in Well, uh, well, okay, we're moving in three of the last snakes <laughs> yeah, today. Yeah, three of the last snakes. Yes, we're going to move in the Plains Hognose Snake, the Eastern Hognose Snake, and then over here, we are going to move in the Carpet Python. And I have been personally very excited to move in the Carpet Python because I can't wait to see how he uses this huge enclosure. If. If he does, I hope he doesn't just curl up in the bottom, never to be seen. That's if that happens, our backup is an emerald tree boa for this exhibit yes. that would utilize the branches a little bit better. But we're gonna give first dibs to the carpet python because yep. we have a carpet that came from a pretty rough situation and he deserves this space. Should we start with him? Sure. All yeah, right. Pull the sticker off first. Yeah, I suppose I could do that. Oh, it's so weird having this style of door. Yeah. Not sliding glass. Oh. Oh, so fancy. And then something I also want to do, since these have been sitting with substrate for a while, I have to re-wet it. Oh, man. You take out the coming soon. We don't it's need It's coming it. now. Coming Woo! All right. Mm, brown dust. Yeah, it's probably a good thing we're rinsing this yeah. whole thing off. It's also going to bump up the humidity in there, which he'll love. Yeah, he will. Or chill, chill. I think he's a boy. We're bad at guessing sexes though on snakes because turns out Anixia is a boy. Yeah, so fun there you fact. Go. Yeah, Tyne and Lee, if you're watching this, your girl is a boy. 
So yep. uh, that's been fun. Uh, trying to wrap our heads around. <laughs> okay, I think this is ready for our carpet python friends. I can't think of anything else that it needed. No, needs. I think so it was just waiting for the glass. So. Let's put them in. All right. Luca, I'm not food. No, nope. uh, Luca thinks you're food. I'm not food, Luca. Luca, oh, you man. just ate today. Yeah, you have no reason to try to eat me. Calm down, you're fine. Okay, so this is Luca. He is our mystery carpet python. We don't know exactly what kind. We're thinking maybe coastal, but we don't exactly. We, he might be some sort of mix. There's a lot of mixing with carpet pythons. Yeah. So his story is kind of a sad one. We got him from somebody who moved out of his house with his reptiles there, and he left his reptiles in bins in the basements, but didn't tell his ex that they hadn't been fed or that he left them there, and it had been about three months. And when she found out, we drove immediately to her house. We took in these rescues. We found them, a lot of them great homes through our website, actually. And we decided to keep Luca, this carpet python, because we felt so bad for him. He was in a black tote on the floor. He had heat mat, but he had nothing else. It was just an empty tote. And paper towels at the bottom or something I, and a small water dish. Yeah, that was, it was about it was about this big. And there was no light, no nothing. Poor guy. He was really skinny when we first got him, but he has plumped up. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he overcame that adversity pretty well. He sure did. He has a wonderful eater. He's got a bit of a tood, just like a lot of carpet pythons do. Oh, how dare you let him touch his face <laughs> to your arm. <laughs> how dare I let you do that? Oh, oh yep, oh, I oh, am oh. to blame for sure. All right, buddy, you totally deserve this big habitat. I have been looking forward to this moment for many, many months. And today is your big day. Luca, here's your new home. Oh, look at that. We've got basking on, UVB on, our LEDs friend. LEDs on. LEDs on. Yeah, you've got all the fancy lights. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch him perch and climb. Hopefully he does. Hopefully yeah. he utilizes all this space. But this is an arboreal species of snake, so there's no reason why he wouldn't. There you go, buddy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, now stay up here. Don't dive down there and yeah. just sit behind that plant. Right, right. I don't want to buy an emerald tree boa. They're not as good as green tree pythons. Yeah, yeah. We'd rather not get one of those. So, Luca, use up this space well, please, so we don't have to get an emerald tree boa. Also, Luke, the uh, mantis friend of ours, sent this for our enclosure in the zoo, and I think nice. he's going to use it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to the very tippy top. Look at him climb. Oh, my gosh. Okay, should we put the hog noses in and then come back and see where he's at? Sure. All right. So, you're going to do the same thing over here, just probably not as wet. Yeah, so the, the hog noses are drier species because they live in sand prairies, but these enclosures have been sitting vacant for quite a while now, so I think I still want to wet it just a little bit. Yeah. So it's not as bone dry because they do encounter moisture in the wild too. Right. Cool. It rains. Yeah, exactly. Kinda. I do like that we put ledges in there. Yeah, they're I never going to use the ledges. I mean, I have seen hog noses climb, but... They might. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We gave them the opportunity to, just yep. in case they feel like it. Yeah, so we're doing a plains and an eastern. I'm guessing Sparkles is the Eastern. Right? Uh, no, no, we're going to do the Craigslist Eastern. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We got Craigslist Eastern uh -huh. we haven't told anybody about yet. Yeah, that's right. This is a new snake for you guys. Yeah. For the Plains or Western, I don't know. We might do Jester. I was going to say, we probably should do a female, but all our, all our females are in Grimation. Yeah. So. Well, they're in Grimation until next week. That's true. So we'll see how Jester reacts to it. Yeah, we might switch out for a female. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. they just don't bury under the dirt and then we can't. Uh... I know. I'm a little worried you know, about that. So we have a showy female, if nothing else? I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think we have a big female we could put in. Who are we putting in first? Let's do the western. Let's okay. do Jester. Oh, that's right. Half the rack back here is not in use. Well, Look at all these empty spots. And these are also empty. They're just... No, those are the bull snakes we're keeping. Oh, that's right. No one's supposed to see those bull snakes, uh, but they just got a sneak peek. They got a sneak peek all at right. something we Future projects. Yeah. Yeah, sneak peek there. So I'm debating between Jester here, who is a, an, a het albino male. He's okay. a good size. Or Spinelli? Yes, or we'll just throw a bull snake in there and <laughs> nobody will know the difference. Yeah. The other option is Salami Mommy. She Ooh. is a female, just normal wild type. And this is closer to what you would see in the wild yeah, around us. I think that one. Yeah, we'll see how she does. And Jester's used in programs. Okay. So this way he can still be, be available. In the programs. Yeah, so we can keep him in there. He's an, a head albino, so we'll want him for breeding yep. anyway. And she's a little young still to yeah. breed. So she can grow up in the enclosure. Yeah. Look at that teeny little head. Yeah, she was recently surrendered to our adoption program and we decided to keep her. Because oh. <laughs> uh, she's a female, new bloodline. She's yep. just a normal wild type, but still. Salami mommy, do you want to go in the zoo? Let's go in the zoo. We also have to make this kind of fast. I just realized all the lights are going to shut off in about 15 minutes because oh. we're doing this super late at night. That's right. Why do we always film so late? I don't know. We really should stop doing this. Here you go. It's kind of wet right now, but <laughs> it'll dry, I promise. <gasps> New home! 
Aww. And she's probably just going to be buried all the time. Yeah, that's my guess, but unfortunately. We'll, we'll see. Maybe she'll be out and about. Especially if she's young, she might kind of get used to it. And I don't know. I'm just trying to be optimistic. optimistic. Glass is half full. The hog nose is only half buried. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Exactly. So she is in. Now time for you to meet Craigslist hog nose. All right, so this hog nose we found on Craigslist. Yeah, we drove an hour north. Very rarely do you see Easterns available, but we have this gorgeous Eastern now. We also still have Sparkles. He's oh. the, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow, you are sassy Look as ever. Look how flat he is. Yeah, he's a little high strung, So I, and he's little, so yeah. I don't think he'd do the best in the zoo. Kinda want him to get stressed out from all the people yeah. looking at him. Even though he's been with us like his whole life, minus the four or six months that somebody had him after they <laughs> took him from the wild. Jeez, you are so dramatic. You'd yeah. think you'd get used to us. Show off your lovely smile. Oh, look at that big smile. Oh, he loves all the attention. Yeah. That's why, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe not. So Sparkles is not gonna go in the zoo because of his personality, but we still have him. He's doing great. Yeah, he eats he's an, almost every week for us. Yeah, yeah, he's an awesome little Eastern. So instead of him, we are putting Craigslist Eastern in the zoo. This is John Dorian. He is also a little bit sassy, but he's a little bit more mellow than Sparkles is at least, and he's a bigger too, so he'll be a showier uh, Eastern. He'll be easier for people to see. So it actually works out really well. What's the reference of John Dorian that I don't understand? I think it has something to do with scrubs, maybe? I don't know. Right. That's what the staff told me today, because I asked the same thing. Staff needs to pick better names, apparently. <laughs> yeah, pick names from shows we watch, guys. Yeah. We don't watch scrubs. Like, he could be Fry. I like that. I'm going to start calling him Fry. Everybody else on YouTube, call him Fry, not John Dorian. Well, like Fry and Leela? Yeah, like Fry and Leela. Okay, his name <laughs> is now Fry. Yeah, because he's got orange on his chin. He's Fry. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> yeah. All right, Fry, let's go in the zoo. Philip J. Fry, but you'll just name him Fry for oh, sure. Oh, I like the name Philip. Oh, oh Philip. Let's do Philip. Oh, Philip J. Fry. Okay, full name is Philip J. Fry. I'm gonna call him Philip. So for Philip sure. or Fry, yeah. whatever you want to call him. Yep, just not John Dorian. Just not John Dorian. <laughs> Sorry, Ailey. I assume you named him, but yeah, uh, yeah we're we're changing yeah, it because we don't get the better. reference. <laughs> we already have one. We have Christopher Turk from Scrubs, and that's Christopher. Anyway. Oh, that's what that one's from too. Yeah, everybody's getting named after shows we don't watch. Yeah. So we just have to name him ourselves. There we go. Just rules. Only shows. Ed and Emily watch. <laughs> yes. New rule. Philip, what is this new place? It's a little wet. I'm sorry. It won't always be this wet. I promise. He blends right in. Even if he's outside or on top of the dirt, you're not going to see him. No, he's going to be so hard to find in there. Yep. But that's all right. I think he's going to enjoy it in there. Ah, oh, this is so exciting. Yeah, it is. Oh, the last few Fine. Now all we need is a blue tree monitor or a couple blue tree monitors. To put in there. To put in there. And then we need to fix that one up and figure out what we're going to do with that. Yeah. Turns out Tiny doesn't like to eat if he's in too big of an enclosure. So we know for a fact he's gonna refuse to eat if he's in there. So either we have to find a big anaconda and put it in there, or we have to put something else in in the meantime until Tiny's big enough to move in. That's why that one's empty right now. But let's see how all these new snakes are doing. Should we check on Luca? Sure. All right. Before we do that, I noticed Allie is shedding. Hey girl, how are you? Are you nice and warm? Oh, look at these nice long sheds. Get rid of all this nasty shed. Not gonna go too hard for you, but look at that. Hi, you girly. How are you? Allie, I don't have food for you. Oh, you just wanted more head scratches. You did. Oh, you have a yawn spot? You do kind of have a yawn spot. Or you're trying to bite me, one of the two. I'm gonna say it's a yawn spot. You're such a good girl. All right, what were we doing before I get distracted? I'm emptying out the hose. Rainy day. Yep. Oh, Joe, so rainy. I try to do this like once a month or so, just to bump up humidity and try to reenact a rainy day like they'd encounter in the wild. Yep. I don't know if they like it. I feel like they do. It's got to add some sort of stimulation, you know? Wow, I've never seen a fat tail out in the zoo either. They, they really only come out at night. That's why we have to do a, uh, an evening tour where we reopen back up at like 10 o'clock at night. That is in the works because yeah. our centipede only comes out at about 10 o'clock at night. All right, what's Luca doing? Oh, look at you. Oh, he's right up by his UVB. Aw, he's oh. as far up as he can get. Oh, Luca, look at you go. Oh, he's gonna love this, I think. Oh, yeah. I hope he continues climbing. Yes. It seems like he wants to go up, so that is so cool. That is cool. How about the hog noses? All right, let's go see them. It's such a far walk, though. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, I need All a break. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, there she is. She's in the back. She's just sitting there. Yep. She's not digging though. It's actually probably a good thing because it's two days where they get used to the enclosure without people. That's what the plan was, was it's Sunday night after close. So now they have Monday and Tuesday while we're closed to only deal with a couple employees here and there and slowly build their own confidence so that they're comfortable when it does get busy here the next weekend. Yep. So how about- He's in back too. Fill up. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Good job, Philip. You explore. Yeah, you're cool too, Fox Snake. We're not ignoring you. <laughs> you're amazing Hi. as well. Yep, yep, you're cool. Well, we are one step closer to having our zoo fully staffed. That I guess that all the I animals mean, are working here. It works. Entertaining and educating people. Yeah. So yeah, we are only a couple. Uh oh. Oh no. It's 10 o'clock. Don't show them that. As far oh, as they know, we're yeah, still never mind. open. It's like noon. Yeah, Hooray. exactly. It's not super late at night. Anyway, we only have a couple enclosures left to staff or uh, fill with animals. We still have the blue tree monitor exhibit, the anaconda exhibit, which we'll probably put something else in in the meantime until Tiny's big enough to move in. And finally, one more rattlesnake exhibit, which we do have a venomous snake that we are planning on putting in there. It's a different one than the original species we had planned for. That'll be another video in the future, actually. So we have a spontaneous rescue that we're gonna put in that exhibit just once the uh, security film gets added to the glass so it's a little bit more safe. So yeah, um, I guess when you come into the zoo, if you've already been here before, you now have three new animals to meet. Oh, look at him, William. Oh, he's like looking at us too. Wow. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is working just as I had hoped. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I know it was kind of a short one, but it was a big step for us to mm -hmm. finally move in these last few finally animals. Finally get the glass on all the doors. Getting the glass finally installed. We've been waiting for this for about nine months yeah. now. So it was quite the wait because of COVID delays, but it is here and it looks glorious. And I think our animals are going to love mm -hmm. these enclosures. And I hope that you'll love seeing them in person in our zoo. Thank you so much everybody for watching. And thank you as always to our amazing Patreon backers because you allow us to do so much with this building. And we'll see you next time. Good night, snakes. Good night.